All right, ENJ Cap, we're back. Now this is gonna be a review because my funds haven't settled yet. That three million nine hundred ninety nine thousand is not mine. I wish, not yet. But this is a simulated account, and this is TradeStation. So we're gonna do just a review. So the thing about TradeStation was I deposited money last week, and they still haven't cleared yet, which is a pain because I haven't traded since since September fifteenth. I was at Tasty Works. I didn't like the look, I didn't like the feel. I closed out my positions and I let the funds settle and I wasn't able to take it out until the 18th. And then around the 21st, 22nd, I wanted to go to Lightspeed. But with Lightspeed, you have to wire money in. And my bank wasn't accepting appointments at the time. So I had to wait. So I was like, you know what, let me just try TradeStation. And I deposited money on the 22nd and the 23rd. And I still haven't got them yet. It's kind of a pain when you're trying to trade and the and you have to wait you know funds to settle funds to move this is a demo account so we're going to get back to real money trading soon when everything settles but another reason why I like thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade better is because it's fast you settle you put money in and you could trade stocks pretty much the same day so that's another check mark for thinkorswim and they they're working me like a dog at work so I've been doing 72 hours a week. I had I didn't have time to trade cuz I'm the new guy. They like to, you know, put a gun to my head and say, "Hey, you have to work." I'm like, "All right, whatever." Anywho, trade station. So this is the look. I didn't touch any of this. This is what they give you. This is the day trader look. This is the active trader look. This is the front page. The active trader, you got balances, day trader, find a trade idea. Let's see what that looks like. Everything pops up. You got ETFs. You got all these different, I guess these are, yeah, net changes. The highest percentage moves, I guess. The volume, net change percentage, net change, last, percentage above high, description, symbol. So just looking around, it's pretty busy. I ain't gonna lie, it's a, a lot's going on. You got PIP calculator, this is for Forex. Desktop, you could save how you want your desktop to look. Well, let's talk about fees. So TradeStation, like I said, I deposited money on the 22nd, 23rd. And I, can't, I still can't use it yet, so so it's a little slow, to be honest. Stock and ETFs, zero dollar commission. Stock options, zero commission, but 60 cent per contract. That's pretty much standard. Futures, 150 per contract per side, meaning the buy side and the sell side, you have to pay 150. Futures, micro e-mini, 50 cents per side. Futures options, 150 per contract per side so yeah so you could trade you can go on log in and trade on the web or you could download the desktop and it looks like this real-time data on stocks free minimum deposit 2000 okay you got the five minute chart you got the one minute and you got the daily so let's try to take a trade let's see what how it looks I triple Q's 500 at say we buy it here auto buy market total position cost 138,000 whatever dump it don't show me that again. Alright, so it shows you everything. Buy 500, route SSC, exchange NASDAQ, good till cancel, simulated account, estimated price 276.65, estimated cost 138,000, commissions, estimated commissions, five bucks. You are currently not, yeah, I get it. What? What a rejected. This is a simulated account. What are we talking about? I thought I was rich. Not cool. Let me try buy 10 shares. Can we buy 10? Are we that broke? Buy. Oh my goodness. Trade. Limit price. Two, seven, six. Where are we at right now? Your PL shows right there. I'm up. This is fake money. Remember that. My money didn't clear yet, so this is fake money. We just want to see how it looks. So if, if you like TradeStation already, if you just like the busyness, or if you think it's too much, then it'll, it'll tell you if you want to stay here or not. You got your sector ETS, commodity. I guess you could change this if you want. This is net change. Apple Inc. Good. So you change Apple and everything switches at the same time, which is good. Let's just say we want to buy a market right now. Boom, let's go. Okay. What are you talking about? Buying power. Four million dollars. My order's rejected? I remember when I hear people from Robinhood say, think or swim's too confusing. Imagine you give them this, the head's gonna pop off. This is a pain too. All right, let's try Active Trader. So how do I buy something? Don't show me that again, you're wasting time. Okay, I hear you. There we go, order filled. So long 500, it got filled right away. It was a market order though. It shows all your money, it shows market value, total cost, your account, your PNL, your PNL per, per dollar. Got time and sales over here. Where's level two at? 
Do they got level 2 on this? Alright, so we go to File, we go to New Application, and let's try Basket Order. What does this look like? Okay, busy. Don't show me these. What is Browser? So I use Support Center. And a little side note on the support. I emailed them yesterday, yesterday afternoon, to ask, hey, when's my money going to be ready to go? I haven't gotten back to me yet. So that's, we're not loving this right now. What is this? Let's see what Option Station Pro looks like. You gonna let me buy something or what? I ain't gonna lie, I'm not liking the look of this. It's too busy, way too busy. This is like New York City as a broker. It's like Hong Kong as a broker. Radar screen, what is that? So it's like a watch list. Look at different stocks, boom, you got your high, low volume. You can find these in pretty much any broker. Stop showing me this message. All right, scanner, let's check the scanners out. Create a scan, select sim all futures. Select symbol list, come on, let's go. German pound, Japanese yen. Okay, now what? All stocks, so do volume. Volume today, volume percentage today, operator, what does that mean? A million, you gotta be kidding me. Top number, this is too big, this is giving me too much work. Let's see a sample scan, let's go. Bearish engulfing, let's go, run the scan, let's go. Move it, move it, move it, scan. All right, forget it. All right, what does this say? Do not display this message again for this type of wind, window. I clicked this before, right? Scumbags, file, new application, research, let's find some, Oh my, if you pop one of these things up again. So I might be having a hard time just because this is a demo account. It's kind of like a Yahoo Finance right there at your fingertips. Dividends, revenue, capitalization, financial strength, quick ratio, current ratio, total debt. I guess this is a this is a good, this is a decent to have. Just right here, you know, if you want to see it. But that's more long term. Oh my god, these, these boxes. But when you look at fundamentals, that's more long term. How much debt they have doesn't matter day to day. Uh, let's see trade manager. Uh, that's just what we were doing. Oh my, listen, let's try news. What's going on in the news? This must be somebody who uses um, trade station in real time. Tell me if it's any better. We got the apps right here, basket order, browser, chart analysis, easy language. What is easy language? This, this definitely feels like early 2000s type of look to it though. Did I get the wrong update? Walk forward optimizer. Yeah, I don't know about this. So here's the charting. I didn't put any of these indicators on. So after I test all these other brokers out, finger swim is just a clear beauty, to be honest. This is Active Trader. This is Day Trader. I heard good things about Trade Station, but I, I personally am not a fan of it right now. So I'm, I'm not sure if I actually want to put my money here because it's too busy. So I actually might cancel the transfer because I didn't really take a good look at the demo be beforehand, which I should have. All right, so let's see how to close it. Let's say we want to close Q. Let's right click it, close this, send, send now, sell QQQ at market. Say we close, oh, I could did close all positions. I like that they have that, that's good. Where you can just close them all at one time. It's interesting. So that's Trade Station. That's just the first time look at Trade Station. I don't particularly love it. My overall grade is a six out of 10. It's busy. Meaning that I guess there's a lot to do if I really get used to it. But sometimes doing too much is, you know, a distraction for what you really need. The looks okay. Customer service isn't that great. Fees are okay. Anyway, we're out.